his best loved politicians goes for term number seven. As you see, Robert Byrd has served the state of West Virginia for more than 40 years in the nation's capital. Now he is running for another term, and at this point, he seems sure to be re-elected. Our Capitol Hill correspondent, Candy Crowley, tried to find out the secret to Byrd's success. To travel West Virginia with Robert Byrd is to go through the looking glass and see a different reflection. I think he's probably one of the, uh, the best uh, loved uh, politicians the state has seen in a long, long time. He's the genuine article. This is Corridor G, an Appalachian four lane, traversing West Virginia from the capital to the border with Kentucky. It's the road that Byrd built with federal funds. And this is the public health clinic and the technology center, etc., cetera, et cetera. Robert Byrd has served the people of West Virginia for more than four decades. He has, both literally and figuratively, kept the trains running here. And for that, most West Virginians believe he can have the seat for life. At 77, Robert Byrd is running for his seventh term in the Senate. And that's pretty much all you need to know about that race. It's not that nobody else is running. It's that nobody else will win. Bob Byrd, he's, uh, he's the man. He plays the fiddle. He sneaks in allotments, or grants, like here. You know, 500,000 here and 500,000 there. And uh, uh, I don't know anyone could beat him. So ordered. And the bill After 36 years in the U.S. Senate, Robert Byrd is both feared and respected for his stature. His power, even critics will tell you, is awesome. I look upon it as service, not power. Being in a position to serve, they're the powerful people. The man on the street out there, there goes the power. Still powerful has become a part of his name. He is Robert Byrd, the powerful chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee. In the forest, there's a water hole. And all the animals have to come to that water hole sooner or later. The Appropriations Committee is the water hole. A man who loves words, history, and the Senate, Robert Byrd is a walking, talking history book. When Cassius uh, solicited his friends to join in the conspiracy, they uh, consented. It is on the Senate floor that I have absolute confidence in myself as a duck as when it's in a pool of water. It's in its forum. There is, in fact, only one place he'd rather be. When I'm dead, I'm an, and am open, they'll find West Virginia written on my heart. Andy Crowley, CNN, McDowell County, West Virginia. A one-of-a-kind politician. Tomorrow.